Hi guys, it's Emily here, so welcome to another speed build, and this time I am finally building with the new expansion pack, Cats and Dogs, and I built a starter house because I did create a current household. I created um, just a young adult sim, <laughs> and her name is Megan, and I moved her into this lot that originally had a starter house on it, but... I didn't really like that house too much and I really wanted to kind of create something of my own, something that was a little bit more catered to the sim I was going to play with. So Megan is um, a creative sim, she is a cat lover, and I kind of just wanted to, yeah, <laughs> play with somebody who just liked cats and wants to live by the beach and is outdoorsy and creative and I just thought that'd be kind of fun just to do on my yeah my own time sim I want to play with and then she adopted a little calico kitten and his name was turtle <laughs> and I was like that is the cutest name for a cat I just adored it so I was like okay I have to adopt him and yeah I think eventually I'll probably have her you know find somebody uh to date and then maybe she'll get married have kids and then um yeah, I was also thinking about maybe she'd want to adopt a dog eventually, maybe adopt a stray that's running around the neighborhood. Um, yeah. <laughs> I've been wanting to have a current household for a long time because I haven't really spent that much time playing the game in forever. And I knew as soon as this came out, I really wanted to make sure I just spend some time enjoying it and playing for myself and exploring things that I haven't done in a long time. Because I think it's been a good like six months or so since I've actually had a current household so yeah I'm really excited to just play the game and enjoy it and share my builds with you guys and um yeah I'm also thinking about starting some sort of let's play now that I do have my new computer I know I had a little bit of um interest some people are asking me about doing um a cats and dogs let's play and I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that since I am doing it for my current household um the only problem I have is um I'm not sure how good of a storyteller I am because I've never done a let's play before on my channel. I kind of want to start with something that maybe has like a little bit of an objective. So I kind of want to start a challenge. I've mentioned before that I wanted to start the Not So Berry Challenge. So if you are interested in that, please let me know because I think that's probably what I'm going to do unless, um, you know, there's something that you guys would like to see more, other challenges that you guys like. Um, but I, thought, I feel like I need a little bit of an objective just to get things going and get a little bit more comfortable with filming gameplay and talking while I play the game and things like that. So yeah, definitely your guys' input would be appreciated. But um, anyways, so this house took me forever. I tried a couple different little styles of um, starter houses. I looked at different pictures and I decided to go with something really simple and um, yeah, uh, hopefully you guys like it. I mean, it's not the most creative build. It's not super extra but I mean it's a starter house is so pretty limiting with what you can do and <laughs> yeah I fill around with things forever trying to make it look at least somewhat decent because sometimes I feel like I don't know starter houses look a little bit weird because you have to make it kind of small and awkward shaped at least for me I don't know I'm kind of bad at building starter houses but I didn't want to cheat any um you know any money in my personal gameplay so yeah she's gonna have to earn everything herself so she's gonna have to start out in this little house and maybe we'll remodel or rebuild or whatever when she gets more money so <laughs> but I've had so much fun I know I said that like the first thing I was gonna do was create my own pets which I definitely will probably do this weekend I am squeezing out this video even though the gardeners outside and they are so loud um, <laughs> but I think my new microphone is a little bit better with uh, hiding background noise and I honestly feel like it's just loud for me and probably not as loud as I feel like it is. I feel like it's annoying because I have things I want to do. But um, yeah, I'm just going to squeeze out this video because I um, yeah, feel like I should have a cats and dogs video up on my channel. So I think I'll just upload it this afternoon once it's all, um, what's the word that I'm looking for, rendered. <laughs> and um, yeah, just share it a little bit later in the day and hopefully you guys will like it. You'll have to let me know. Um, I built it early this Saturday morning. I've been getting, okay, it's kind of depressing, or not, not depressing. My my husband made a little bit fun of me for it because I was so tired at work yesterday. I came home and I was so exhausted. I like went to bed at like eight o'clock. He's like, why are you so tired? I'm like, because I woke up at four in the morning to play video games. <laughs> I was like, I woke up so early so I could play video games. I was like, I just wanted to play it. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so I did the same thing this morning. But um, I went to bed early, so it didn't really matter. But I do need to go grocery shopping because we have, like, no food in the house. So I'm trying to, um, yeah, get a video out so I can go run my errands, I guess, and then come back so I can play more. And, yeah, it's probably what I'm going to do the entire weekend because I'm so excited. And um, I'm sure you guys got that from my last video because I was like, I'm just so excited. Like, the whole video, I couldn't shut up about it. But, um, 
yeah, I really want to create my pets. I think I'm gonna like to spend some time taking pictures of them is my plan and then I'm um, trying to recreate them as best as possible and then I'll share some like real photos of them with you guys so you guys can see what they actually look like and yeah I thought that'd be a bit of fun um but anyway so this house is one bedroom and one bathroom I really wanted to create a two bedroom house but I quickly realized that I was not gonna have the money to be able to do that because I wanted to have like an office space because I want her to um start painting and doing some writing and like because she's a creative sim I want to do some photography and have like a room to like collect all of her skill items I guess um but yeah there was not the money for that and then I was like well then later on I'd be able to turn it into like a little nursery and be all super cute but I think at that point we're just gonna have to either add a second story or build the new house <laughs> um so I already had some kitty items in my inventory because I did start off playing in the original house that was here and then I was like no this is not gonna do I tried renovating it but I was just changing it too much to where it wasn't even a renovation anymore. So, um, yeah, decided to bulldoze it and then create something all of my own. And I really wanted to use that new bed. Um, I put it in there for a second a little while ago. It's the four post bed with like the really cool pattern blanket. Like I feel like the sim that I created would really like that. So she's definitely going to save up to upgrade her bed because I ended up going with a city living bed. I messed around with a few different beds a couple different times, but I ended up going with a city living bed in the end because I was like, it still looks kind of cool, and but I feel like my sim that I created would like the more colorful patterned and more kind of, um, I don't know if you'd call it eccentric, but um, I don't know, a little bit more unique. I think she would like that a little bit better, so um, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully she'll be able to save up kind of quickly. I just got her a job, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, so definitely... Um, I know sometimes when YouTubers ask questions, people don't always answer them, but I'm definitely curious to hear what you guys think about doing Let's Play or Challenge, and um, yeah, like I said, I am definitely leaning towards a not so berry. I've had other people say that they would like to see me do that, so um, yeah, just more um, more opinions, please. More input <laughs> would be very helpful, because I'm not really sure what to do, and I'm a little bit nervous about starting one, but I feel like it would be good just to, just to start something. <laughs> But um, yeah, I really wanted to add sort of like sea aspects because she lives by the beach and I thought she was like a total beach bum. Like she's always down at the beach collecting rocks and seashells and like fishing and sunbathing, running on the beach. Like this is at least the character that I had in mind that I want to play with. And so all I ended up adding was the skateboards <laughs> and like they're not even that sea-ish, but I kind of think like they're surfboards and maybe I should put them outside and pretend that she has surfboards hanged up outside or something but I was gonna add like the new little decorations that has like little boat buoys on it is that what they are the little floaty things for the water for boats um, I was gonna add that and there's like the cool anchor and we'll add stuff over time so maybe I'll renovate it later on and share it with you guys or if I rebuild them something then um, I'll share that with you guys as well um, but yeah I'm definitely gonna be doing more builds because this world is beautiful I want to do some community lots and um, yeah like I mentioned last video I'll have some work to do for the collab that's coming up so I'll be building some stuff for that and yeah I'm just really excited about this new expansion pack and sharing new content and having my new computer to do that on is yeah it's really awesome pretty excited about everything right now um <laughs> good times um at the end of the video I do go back and add some darker tones to the exterior I felt like it looked a little bit bland like I was gonna go upload it and then I was like I feel like it needs I, I don't know a other tones on the exterior I just felt like it looked a little bit bland and yeah I actually started building another house <laughs> and like I use a lot of like the similar exterior colors so hopefully I won't be too repetitive with builds but um yeah I feel like when you find something you like you kind of stick with it and I kind of liked the way this one looked so I brought it onto the other build I started building after this but um that doesn't matter I'll share it later on oh and that little statue with a little succulent in it is so cute it's like a little kitty and there's also a little puppy one. Oh, I was like that's so cute like yeah had to give her that so it was like I want to say it was a little bit expensive so we kind of splurged on it but I don't know <laughs> I'm going back now and just sort of making adjustments I switched out the lights a couple different times like I really wanted to use the big saucer lights because they're just really bright but um yeah, we'll just have to upgrade the light fixtures later on. I do go in and change it to like the soft warm light just because some of these lights are so super yellow. But um, yeah, lighting can be really expensive and artwork too. There's a serious lack of artwork in this house. But I'm sure you guys have seen starter houses before and they do lack artwork and nice lighting. But that's just how it is. And um, yeah, it's a little bit unfortunate. But I do end up adding a painting in the bedroom 
and I wanted to add one in the kitchen, but I needed to save her a little bit of money to be able to do things. Oh, and by the way, I think it's like 16,000 500 is when I uploaded it to the gallery. I'm not sure the lot price because since I moved into this lot with the build already on and I'm not sure how much a lot actually cost. I kind of assume that it's going to be a little bit more than regular small lots because it's right by the water. I don't know if the sim works like that. I think it might where some lots are just or do they just go by the size of the lot? I'm not really sure. <laughs> if you know you can answer that if you want to but I'm not sure the price of the lot. Didn't really pay attention but I think the house is 16,000 and she hadn't made any money up to this point. She may have sold like one fish that was like seven dollars or something, but yeah, she didn't have um, any money So it's a really cheap house and you should be able to afford it if you'd like to play in it And I also have a little kitty item a little kitty food. Ah, so cute I'm so excited to finally have pet items in the game and I was looking for a water bowl just at that point I found it a bit strange that we don't have a water bowl, but um I don't know, I guess it's not that big of a deal. But here's where I decided to add some different exterior colors just to, um, yeah. I just thought it made it look a little bit nicer, a little bit more interesting, and I don't know. Maybe you guys don't agree, but I think it does. But anyways, we are already to the screenshot, so thank you guys so much for watching, and please leave any comments or suggestions that you have, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay, bye!